Researchers at Columbia University have discovered that blocking serotonin, a hormone that affects mood, could lead to a medical treatment for osteoporosis. It's a brand new pathway and a brand new way to treat osteoporosis by increasing bone formation. Two years ago, Gerard Carsenti and his team at Columbia University Medical Center made a startling discovery. They showed that serotonin, which is found in the gut as well as the brain, plays an active role in the formation of bones. So we hypothesized that if we could in fact inhibit the synthesis of serotonin in the stomach, we could have a novel treat anabolic treatment for osteoporosis. Luckily, a drug being tested in people with irritable bowel syndrome could do the job. Carsenti and his team fed the same drug to mice suffering from osteoporosis and found that the drug increased the animal's bone mass and erased all hints of the disease. When we realized that the compound could reverse completely an osteoporosis in mice without side effect, uh, we were particularly pleased to say the least. To measure bone loss, Carsenti's team harvested mouse bones and embedded them in a plastic resin. Then they made very thin cross-sections of the vertebrae and long bones for viewing under a microscope. The researchers examined the bone density by comparing the amounts of rigid bone and marrow, which each appear as a different color. We measure the ratio of black over pink because black is bone and pink or pinkish is bone marrow. Computer software then measured whether the mice that received the drug had thicker bones. Indeed, the drug increased the number of bone-forming cells to make treated mice appear perfectly normal. But the bones of mice that did not get the drug looked as fragile as those found in people with osteoporosis. The next step is to see if the drug also works in humans. So it's very difficult to state now that this will be a treatment for osteoporosis in human because we have not tested it. But it is reasonable to test it at least. And if the drug works in humans, it could be a brand new way to treat a disease that afflicts millions of people around the world. For Nature Medicine, I'm Ailey Dolgan.